Welcome to this week's edition of the Passion of the Digital Artist, coming to you live from the Digital Artist's back deck in beautiful Canton, Ohio, beautiful raining Canton, Ohio. Yes, start. Here he is, the computer art man himself, Jeff Mueller. Yes. <laughs> hey, how is everybody? How your, how's yourself, Xavier? Hey, doing okay, Jeff. How are you? I'm, I am excellent. You know, actually, folks, we've had a beautiful weekend. It's been hot, but the skies have been clear, and this is the first rain we've had, and Hey, I'll take it at 7.30 on a Sunday night. If it could hold off the rain every weekend till now, I'd be a happy man. Well, Jeff, you seem pretty excited. What's going on? I, I had a really good week. It, there's something about when you go on vacation and then you come back from vacation and kind of get back into the swing of things, and it takes you a little bit of time. So the, the vacation, I gathered so much information. Uh, I, I have over five hours of video, I, now that it, and I'm working on... Uh, doing DVDs and uh, making the family DVD for the vacation and covering other things that we do. So, but I'm really starting now to get back and I've, I've started to analyze all the information and all the pictures and photographs that I collected on vacation. So it's not so overwhelming because now it's starting to get organized. And then I'm getting back into the swing of things. This week, I got my... Uh, I got my entry. Uh, the Massillon Art Museum is having a Stark County Artist Show coming up. I entered three paintings, Bright Lights Big City, Underwater Adventure, and Fresh Market Decisions. I'm, I'm hoping from the way that the show goes, this will be more one step further. Uh, now we're dealing with an art museum, having a show opening locally. I really want to do this. My nope. Where's this at, Jeff? In downtown Massillon. Which to Canton and Maslin, they're in this. It's just in this area. It's just the museum right next door. Maslin's unique little city. Uh, Lillian Gish, silent film star. Bobby Knight, the great basketball coach. Robert Scott, Medal of Honor winner from World War II, all from Maslin. Yep, it's a it's a great little city. That's for sure. But entering that was it's just another step. What what I, my grandiose vision is that I as I as I keep doing this as an artist that I acknowledge where my roots are Canton Maslin and so as I go about and become bigger and bigger I always come back to my roots all the time so that's that's that is one of my goals so entering that I'm excited about that and then I'm starting to do the process of pick the next couple paintings. I'm probably going to start my social media series, uh, the second part of the social media series, which the first part was a lot of local places except for the last painting. And this way, I've been to a lot of places around the country, so this will be a more national campaign dealing with the same subject matter. I'd like to get the digital paintings done, and then by the time I've got this series of digital paintings done, I would like to then also have the first series showing and that's that's the ultimate goal so just keep getting it out there a little bit at a time showing people that's that's the you know that's the plan but at the same time any you know it's like fishing you're you're waiting for any little you know you're putting it out there waiting for the hit but you just never know when the big hits coming and you got to always be ready for the big hit and you may be fishing for bass and uh, get walleye or vice versa so you have to be flexible so i've got a couple uh, i've got a thunder couple, boomers yep, there you go i've got a couple i've got a lot of feedback on hats that i've worn over the time and I get a lot of feedback from the older crowd that I can't turn it around. So a lot of people want me to wear my hat like so, or like so. And I love I love wearing a baseball cap or any kind of baseball cap backwards. That I, I've always, I, I just enjoy myself with a baseball cap on backwards. Whether it makes me look too young or whatever, I, I, it doesn't bother me. Lately, in my artistic pursuits, I've been going more towards the cross of the modern day beret. But if I wear it this way, which I've got a lot of good feedback, personally, I think I look like an Irish hitman. <laughs> when I go to turn it around, is the other thing. And now you look French. <laughs> yes, but I'm kind of looking to be looking like a painter. So I think 
that this is a more painterly look but everybody's allowed to chime in on this one so if you have an opinion which way you want me to wear my my caps let me know and then so it's either front means demonstrate front okay okay that's front now demonstrate back back so you're gonna and say then, front or back right or on the on the painter cap or now this is more of a standard square painter cap, not a baseball cap, but almost back, front, square. It's the square hat. You can refer to it back or front square hat, back, front, beret. Painter, beret. Yeah, either or. It's. I'll get it. We leave a comment. <laughs> so that covers this week. Is uh, is no hat an option? If, yeah, if they uh, wanted to express their while, opinion. No hat's an option, but. I just feel more comfortable with that. I just know that no hat is when I'm very, it, I gotta be a little bit thinner for no hat. <laughs> well, you pull off the no hair look well. well I must say, I mean, you wouldn't look right with hair. Well, uh, you just pull that look off. I, if, I tried, if I tried to do that, uh, I just, just post, wouldn't happen. I should, I'll post a couple pictures with hair and then everybody can put into that, but the, the, the no hair is no choice. When the island <laughs> separated from the mainland, it was time to go like this. That's yeah, there you go. So there's another, another one in the books this week. Another one in the books, great job. Everybody have a good week. Take care.